So with a bioreactor, the tile outlet water is diverted into a large pit in the buffer, and the pit is filled with wood chips. The wood chips allow the water to be treated because the bacteria take out the nitrates in the water, uses the wood chips as a food source, and then that bacteria removes the nitrates, producing nitrogen gas. The clean water is then allowed to go into the creek. A bioreactor really could be placed anywhere. Anywhere you're willing to find a tile, put two boxes in, and have about a 100 foot by 20 foot piece of ground that uh, is kind of out of production, you can put a bioreactor and, and treat, treat any water coming off, off the farm. So as the operations lead, I bring a crew on site to install these saturated buffers or bioreactors. And first thing we do, we have a set of plans that's provided to us from NRCS or IDLS or the engineer. We come out and locate the existing tile that they want to intercept for these water quality projects. We'll determine if the tile is the correct size. We'll assess the depth of that tile and help basically infield design based off of the engineer's plans that we have. So we've got a very uh, interesting kind of engineered system here, especially in central Iowa where the drainage is historically poor, where we have subsurface tile drainage. Bioreactors and saturated buffers kind of use a natural process to remove that nitrate from the water before it exits into the stream. Can we improve water quality and uh, try to encourage more active forest management, not only for the benefit of the landowner, but for the benefit of uh, society at large.